Moving on, Snooker now, and Stuart Bingham has described the importance of betting sponsorship to the sport as catch-22 situation. We have Ryan Gallacher here now to discuss it. So, Ryan, what exactly happened to Bingham in regard to his previous betting issues? Uh, well, Susanna, the World Professional Billiards and Snooker Association, the WPBSA, found Bingham guilty last year of breaking betting rules. They banned him for uh, six months, which was reduced to three months with half of it suspended. Um, um, he was bet found guilty of betting on matches involving himself as well as other players, and the WPBSA found him guilty of placing bets totalling uh, an estimated over £35,000. Bingham strenuously denied all the allegations um, and said they were placed by a person with whom he shared a betting account. And what has he said about the sponsorship of snooker? Well, the, hard, the cold hard fact of the matter really is that 11 out of 20 ranking events within snooker uh, are sponsored by betting companies, so there is an issue there. Uh, Bingham himself described it as a catch-22 situation. Um, he said it would not be a sport without the sponsorship and the, the funding they provide. Um, however, he's described the intense promotion of betting companies as a nightmare and saying it's all in our faces. Um, however, he said that betting companies do need to advertise and has accepted this um, and there's not much that the players can do about it. However, he's called on the WPBSA to educate players further, particularly younger players. Mm -hmm. And what has the reaction been to his comments? Well, Bingham's one of the most popular players around. Uh, he won the World Championship in 2015. He's been incredibly successful and there's always been a lot of support for him, particularly as he always denied these allegations. And the sponsorship that surrounds Snooker, particularly the the amount of betting companies um, can obviously promote that um, betting for players. So there's been a lot of support, a lot of fans and fellow players have gotten behind them. Um, and his English Open win last month, he was very open about um, his emotions. He, there was tears in his eyes because he suffered a lot of uh, abuse, particularly over social media, following his betting ban. Um, whereas the WPBSA have defended their sponsorship and of supporting betting companies who promote responsible gambling. Thanks.